Welcome back to another episode of the Becky Choice Podcast Shows. Today, I have a guest here. Her name is Samantha Gagnon. Hopefully, I did pronounce the last name correctly. Uh, but she is the owner of Bellies Inc. Now, if you have been following me about my on my social media or, or on my YouTube channel, you do see that I am wearing this belly wrap, whether it was like in my early years postpartum or even now I still show that how I used to help my clients to wear the belly wraps that this is the wrap that I'm talking about and Samantha is the owner of Bellies A and I love for her to come on to my shows today and talk about you know the what, the why, the how, the when to wear this belly wrap so I love for her to from her perspective as the owner of like okay what is the importance of um, the belly wrap so let's dive in thank you so much for coming on to my podcast Samantha. Thank you so much, Becky. You're you're always such a good supporter of us, and we are always so thankful every time you talk to your community about bellies because we really do see it makes such a big difference for our business. Yeah, well, you know the thing is when uh, um, I'll tell you the story how I got to know about belly. So yeah. when I went into my six weeks postpartum checkup with my physio for the first time. Yes. Um, she showed me some of those exercises to do. She showed me a few things. But what I found the most helpful and something that I'm still using today is your belly wrap. So she carried it in her office. Yeah. And then so she told me to buy it. I'm like, okay, fine, you know, I'll buy it. <laughs> you know? So I just bought it. And because, you know, I was, I didn't, I didn't know anything better about belly or wraps at that time. But like she told yeah. me you should be wrapping your belly and she showed me how to belly wrap it in her office. So I've been, and then the first time I wrapped it, I felt the difference like inside That's and outside different. completely. I felt yeah. like before the wrap, everything inside of me was going to fall out. Like my guts, yeah. my intestine, everything was just like kind of wobbling as I'm walking. But as yeah. soon as I wrapped it, I just feel so, it's just secure. so secure. Like I yeah. felt like there was uh, something that was missing and that was the wrap that was just there enough to give me that snug the support. And so uh, I, to this day, that's why I'm like, I'm so supportive of your wraps because I do see that instant change instant yeah. change like exactly. to me and all the clients uh, that I do uh, sometimes that I do recommend to uh, has helped them as well so yeah. um so that's how I got to know about oh bellies. that's great yeah physios are often our big are, like our huge supporters of ours and they're one of our main uh, resellers for in-person sales um and I think that's really a testament to how good the product is because mm -hmm. those professionals wouldn't be recommending it if it wasn't safe to use and if it wasn't effective to use right yeah and I mean I might be biased I have tried other wraps afterward yeah. like you know yeah. I try bellies and that was the first and the only wrap that I wear postpartum I'm like you know people often ask me is there an alternative is there some other wrap so I did you know fork out some money to try different wraps but mm -hmm. I just could not find anything like yours so so yeah. so like just to say like it just the material felt different like the way I'm standing sitting you know with the wrap it felt so different so so and we'll talk more about that um in Definitely. this podcast let's yeah. let's do it so I wanted to, to ask you the history about belly wrapping yeah so I think the really interesting thing about belly wrapping is it's actually a shared practice done by so many different cultures all over the world like so often I think when people first think of it they might think of um like bangkong belly binding which is done in um Indonesia um and Malaysia, but really it's done so many places. So I'm from the Philippines and in our culture, it's not as well recorded as it is in many other cultures. I really had to ask around and like speak to people like, is this something that we do? Because I see it in so many other Asian cultures and yeah. it is. I mean, I think a part of the reason why we don't hear about it as much is just because, you know, when we're going through colonialism, a lot of your traditional practices try to get erased um, but it's definitely something that's done as well in our culture um, and I know it's done in Chinese culture mm -hmm. I know it's done in Japan I know it's done in Latin America um, recently I will I know it's done in many parts of Africa and recently I was at the Canadian midwifery conference um, and so many indigenous midwives came up to me and said oh we do this in our culture too and I think that that's so amazing because this is a practice that's really been done since who knows right like there's no start date of when this actually began it really is a cultural practice done across the world and how cool that this is a shared thing from cultures who 
they didn't tell each other about it, you know, they yeah. just instinctually knew that our muscles need support after we give birth. And so to be able to essentially um, make it where it's so accessible and so much easier to do with a band like ours or a rap like ours, that's pretty great. But yeah, it's it's really just found all across the world um, as a as a as a must do in their cultural practice yeah i talk to a lot of moms too um and they i often hear oh my grandmother told me to mm -hmm. wrap it uh, my yeah. my yeah my my mother usually grandmother actually <laughs> my grandmother <laughs> told me to wrap it and oh but i didn't wrap it you know is it too late but um so yeah i i can see that it, it's it 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 was from long, long time ago. Yeah. And it's actually still a common practice today for many totally. different other parts of the country. But for mm -hmm. some reason in North America, it might, might not seem like it's a uh, fashion here. Right? After, yeah, after I, I don't know why it didn't really catch on in, you know, European countries or, or um, I mean, obviously, indigenous people in, in North America did it. But, yeah. um, you know, why didn't keep going? Um, yeah. But yeah, everywhere else in the world seems to be doing it. And I'm not sure actually about all of Europe, but I know a lot of Europe, it isn't part of it. Um, but perhaps there are some other cultures where it is and I just haven't come across it yet. Yeah, yeah. So what is it though, belly wrapping? So the way that I kind of explain why it's a good idea to do is if we think about any time we injure our bodies, let's say you um, roll your ankle, you hurt your knee, your doctor's going to say, let's wrap it with a tensor band or let's put it in a brace because it's going to help bring down that swelling. It's going to help make sure that um, you're not going to injure yourself more. It's going to help support so you don't, you're not in further pain. Um, and it's going to make sure that those muscles heal properly. It's the same with our body as our bellies are growing all of those muscles get so overstretched our pelvic floor muscles get weaker and after we give birth we need to be able to rebuild that strength and a part of that is having that external support so that mm -hmm. you are healing properly and so that you're feeling good you know when you first give birth as, as you had shared we often feel like like just a big like wobble right in the middle. I always to think of um you know those uh, big uh, plastic like balloon things that have the air coming <laughs> yes, through yes, yes. where they're like this. To yeah. me, that's kind of what it's what it felt like for me. It was like I just felt like whoa, so unsteady. I say I'm like a penguin, like, you know, yeah. flap, 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 penguin. Like I walk like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. And so to be able to have that external support, not just feels really good, um, because we're feeling so unsteady easy but also really does make a difference in how those muscles are actually healing um and then combining it with you know a restorative program like your your um program um it's that combination that really makes such a big difference in in how that recovery is going to go in the long haul right and when we're talking about belly wrapping um you know our wrap is designed for the first eight weeks postpartum, though it can certainly be used at other times and we can talk mm -hmm. about that more. But the reason why we wanna do it in the first eight weeks postpartum is because studies have shown us that in those first eight weeks, you're doing the most amount of healing. So your body's just yeah. naturally like on a healing overdrive. And where you're at at eight weeks is where you're going to be in a year, in three years, if you don't do anything else to try to help that recovery. So we want to take advantage of those first eight weeks when your body is already like at its most like productive in this healing process. So that at that eight week point, you're so much better off than had you done nothing at all. I know. I wish I had done that on the very first day. I didn't Me too. <laughs> see somebody until six weeks. I thought, oh, six weeks is the mark, right? To go yeah. out and see somebody. But if I had exactly. known about this during pregnancy, it would. Mm -hmm. I then I would be would be prepared. I would have it already. Yeah. You know, I would already have it in my suitcase at the hospital, right? Yeah. I would have wrapped. It I really much. thought that you weren't allowed to do anything until you get the all clear from your doctor. Okay. And you know, while I understand you shouldn't be doing anything intense, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, our muscles still need that slow rebuild. I kind of describe it like if you're thinking about when you build a house you need to make sure your foundation is really good first and then you can start adding the walls right and yeah. it's the same yeah. for our body we need to build that foundation so that we can then start adding the walls and be able to get back to doing or start doing things that like we want to do because you shouldn't 
be struggling, you know, postpartum your whole life, right? Like it shouldn't yeah. be a long, long, painful, awful experience recovering from birth. Yeah, that's right. Eight weeks is so smart. You know, the first eight weeks, I, I agree. It's, it's the time that the body is spontaneously healing. Mm -hmm. It might, it might, might not need the wrap to heal, but if you have the wrap, I do believe that it will heal a lot quicker and you might have better chance of uh, healing, um, healing it more complete mm -hmm. um, instead of maybe just halfway there. So, so yeah, eight weeks here it is. Um, my audience who is listening to this, don't wait too long, <laughs> have it yeah. in your suitcase. Now let's talk about the wrap itself. Um, yes. How does it look like? Now I have it. <laughs> Sure. And then when when do you uh, which when do you wear it? And you know, I know you just started the line of the um the pregnancy oh, yeah. wrap, yeah. right? So the one that you're holding there is our brand new belly band. Um, so the belly band is designed for pregnancy for pregnancy support. And then the ab wrap, which is what I have here, I can also pull out. Um, let me oh, reach back. Yeah, so that's the pregnancy band. So the pregnancy band, the reason why we designed the pregnancy band was because so many people were wearing the ab wrap in pregnancy, which you can yeah. do. We can show you how to do that. But yeah. because it's designed for postpartum, it's really made um, for when you're not running around so much, right? And so... Mm. In pregnancy, the ab wrap is not going to be a great thing for everyday wear. It's great for short, you know, short bursts. But for everyday wear, for exercising in pregnancy, um, that's why we designed the brand new belly span. So you'll Ooh. see that it has that nice um, thick panel. So that black panel goes all over your belly. It mm -hmm. feels like really soft um, exercise pants. So it you know that feeling? Yes. And you put a nice pair of exercise pants on. That's yeah. what you get over your belly. Um, the fabric is actually moisture wicking, which is super mm. cool because it's going to make sure that you doesn't get too hot and sticky. The, the sweat's just going to kind of roll right off. Um, yeah. And it's also made of recycled plastic. So it's a very like environmentally friendly. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So the band goes up all over your belly. And then the two... Um, elastics that you see those okay, go underneath your belly yeah sure so you step into it do you see where the um i'm gonna put my fake belly in <laughs> yeah put your fake I'm belly on fake belly. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay super so do you see where this back <laughs> see where this is yeah this line this is your extra back panel support so this is actually the front oh and so you'll with see your the logo with your logo. Yeah, that? where your logo. That's where you that's the back. So you step into it exactly. And then you slide it up over your hips. Okay, I have clothes on. <laughs> yeah, it's harder with clothes on for sure. I always tell people put um your underwear and then you put the band on and then yeah, there you go. And then put it up over your belly. And then the two arms and <laughs> It's hard with it's hard with clothes on. <laughs> and then yes, yeah, so you can see you get really great total belly support. And then those two arms go in front of you. And then you crisscross them. And then you scoop underneath the belly and attach it in the back. Oh, did I wear it backwards? Nope, that's okay. That's okay. I can't fully oh, see. Oh, oh, I see. I see. That scoops it, under. It there you go. The band. Yeah. I see. I see. So it ah. goes underneath the belly, and then you'll see you, and you, you can lower the band so it goes really all the way under your belly. Yeah, to support the. the to support so you get that lift. Belly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. When we were doing our um our product development, we like what we were hearing from all of the people joining us were most of the pregnancy bands were like these thin, tiny things that were just on the bottom and they uh -huh. would dig into their body. They definitely oh, yeah. couldn't exercise in it. They were actually super uncomfortable. And so we want to make sure you get that full belly support um, and you can do squats in it. You could like when we were doing our testing, we were make sure, making sure people were like exercising in it, moving around in it. And it shouldn't ride down and it might fold up a little bit when you bend, but then it just falls back down again. So we're super excited about the new pregnancy right. band for sure. So you would essentially wear this throughout your whole pregnancy. Um, anytime you need a little bit of extra support. And uh, and then after you give birth, then you can add in the ab wrap. Well, and when would you start wearing this? 
Um, so it really depends on how your body is feeling. And oftentimes the more pregnancies you have, the less good you feel earlier on. <laughs> so it's yeah. really based off of what feels good for you. Um, the great thing is the sizing is based off of your pre-pregnancy size. So it's not really difficult to figure out what you need. And one size will fit you through your whole pregnancy because it's so stretchy. Mm. I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel, see most I feel people... Like I feel like I'm wearing like a yoga pants. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's, so that's what it feels like. Plus an extra lift. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And then so you would, you could technically wear it as until like your due date. Yes. Mm, very good. Yeah. Until okay. you give birth. Um, and then, and then Ian, after you give birth, that's when you would transition into, uh, oh, you do have it the wrong way around. <laughs> there oh, I can see now so that's the back oh. but it's the same oh, so the if, logo yeah. should be going into the, the back. logos in the back yeah oh, okay I misunderstood okay yeah that's okay we got the idea <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and but then you would transition works, into I was saying it, it does wrap it around it still works yeah exactly but the reason why you want it the other way around is because the back has this extra panel here oh, which gives you a little bit back. more back support exactly oh, okay, okay okay makes sense makes sense now. yeah yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah well see I'm like I never wore a belly wrap and I was pregnant so like so this is new to me too yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky if you're watching this video and you know how now um, yeah. yeah and then people do have asked us if you can wear it in postpartum but you can't because it's not going to be supportive enough around your core because it's mm -hmm. really made for a growing pregnant belly it's right. not made for a postpartum shrinking belly right so That's it's right. it's just not going to work for postpartum um for postpartum you really do want the ab wrap that's right here which mm -hmm. i am very familiar with yeah <laughs> yeah and so I'll show let's do it together and I love that how like the um well designed it is because you know you don't want this to stick onto anywhere else so you actually put a cover Protective onto cover. this by yeah. curl, so and it's really you... important that when you receive it do not remove the protective cover until you're sure that you have the right size mm. um that way if you need to return it we'll be able to return it because if it gets damaged then we can't return it yeah I hear you yeah but yeah. I, I because love that that's a good thing to remember I'm considering this is and then so you can use this when you are putting it into the washer or dryer yeah. so it doesn't stick yeah. onto other clothes to make okay. sure it doesn't stick to everything else so let's do this together so so how I do this to myself I put the back and mm -hmm. I always recommend time to go lower because oftentimes yes. they go quite high would you say totally. that yeah yeah definitely yeah. go lower more over um your sacrum that's right, sacrum, or like I would say like underwear line, a lot lower. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then so, so that's why, yeah, you should be, I know you have the tank top, actually I have it, but um, yeah. But you can wear it on the top of the tank top, but like leave the underwear out, so the underwear can pull up yes. on the on the wrap, right? Yes, okay. but then it's so, easier to pee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is easier to pee. So yeah, I you just hold on to both. I'll turn over here. And what's really, I really love about because of um, just how stretchy it is, first of all. Mm -hmm. And then what I will do is I crisscross and then <clears throat> I wrap it to the back, right? Well, you're wearing your pregnancy belly, so it might feel a little snugger. <laughs> I actually have a belly here, so it's actually quite hard for me to wrap. All right, hold on, give me a second. All right, but it will be more realistic if I have a belly. But because this yeah, is an extra small. Yeah, but although your postpartum is not going to be quite that big. <laughs> because this is an extra small, I'm having a hard yeah. time wrapping it to the back. <laughs> so let's just remove that so I can do it a little bit more better. Okay, so um, again, here we have it in the back. And then I crisscross it. And then I bring it to the back. And then just tape it onto the back in here. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. But what I what you will want to do is to start adjusting these band, and that is something that nobody in the market has. This no. not only is it the materials, but also just how smart this thing is. Like the adjustability, you don't need to have two, three wraps on top. Yeah. You don't have to cycle this, cycle that, and or, you have so many cycles on how you sit. Or it's like a lot of 
a lot of other ones will just be like a single band that goes over that's, right. that's one length but different yeah, people like have different yeah different people have different length torsos so it's not going to work for every torso but because we have the four arms right you have the four arms yeah. um attached you're really able to adjust it to make sure it fits your torso or if you want more support in one area more than somewhere else, you can also layer it so that you're getting even more support over that area. Yes, yes, absolutely. And just see how well this is like, so, you know, I have a bit of loose skin here, but like, it's like, you're just supporting from your pelvic floor up mm -hmm. instead of yeah. pushing the pressure down where like, yeah. you know, everybody is trying to cinch in here and squeeze and, but you're putting pressure mm -hmm. down. Yeah. And that's why people have and issues with leaking. Exactly. And most people, uh, most other bands, sorry, only focus on the midsection. Mm -hmm. However, when we give birth, our pelvis opens so much. And after we give birth, a lot of people are actually complaining more about hip pain than yeah. anything else. But because our wrap is worn low first and then put over the abdomen, you're also getting supported on your hips too. And that's yeah. really going to feel so good postpartum. Yeah, yeah, it goes lower so than it goes lower than the most other wraps that you're gonna find. Yeah, yeah, it's I just feel so good even wearing it right now. Like <laughs> <laughs> maybe because it helped me so much, so like it's like yeah, oh, going it's back a good to feeling this, for you. Like, good memories <laughs> and, and yeah, it's like it's like hugging you, and it's like it 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 can be like that feeling of like people who use like a waist trainer to train at the mm -hmm. gym uh, yeah. well that's why like I kind of still use that for my waist training yes um, but for core you're workouts. in a different part now that's right but I can still yeah. use it that's the thing right yeah. it's not just for postpartum you can still use yeah. it years later I'm five yeah. years postpartum and I yeah. and I can tell you I still use you it, use it for some extra support yeah that's right extra support and we also extra have extra people um using it after any kind of abdominal surgery so we've had people yeah. buy it if they had a tummy tuck <laughs> we've had people buy it if they've had a um, hysterectomy um, so it's really like any if you think of anything abdominal um, it's a great thing to have post-surgery for sure um, one of our main questions is can I wear it after a c-section it's super great after a c-section yes. it's fine for any kind of birth but we definitely see um, our c-section clients our customers really loving it so much because they have that extra level of needing even more support because of the surgery. Yes. And would you say C-sections, mom, like, is this something that they should wear on day one or let's just, let's just heal the C-section so, a bit more you, first? You know, with you technically you can obviously always after surgery it's always good to check in with a care provider because mm -hmm. it is surgery but what a lot of our customers will do is they'll get the full system so the full system comes with the ab wrap and two of our tanks that you can see hanging here uh -huh. and what a lot of people do is they'll start with the tanks first because mm -hmm. the tanks have a very gentle compression so they can start with the tanks first so that they can feel a little bit of support and then when they're feeling a bit more maybe used to the incision or like feeling just a little bit more confident mm -hmm. in um in moving their body then they start adding on the wrap so that's a great alternative if you're feeling like you're not ready to wrap from day one you can definitely use the ab tank from day one yeah until you're more ready that's great yeah, yeah it's really well made and I believe yeah. it's made in Canada right yeah so it's actually made in in Surrey so Surrey's about 25 minutes away from our office um so mm -hmm. when I say it's local I really mean it's local um <laughs> and uh yeah we have a lovely a lovely um you know, woman owned business that is our manufacturer, which to us is very important. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and they really do good work for us. And the nice thing about it is that we're able to order smaller lots. And when you're able to order smaller lots, you're able to really keep an eye on the quality and that it's staying mm -hmm. really top notch. Because when, when you're ordering like these giant lots from overseas, because you have to, that's the only way to make it work it's so much easier for things to get missed in that giantness of it. Whereas for us, because we can order as we need it, um, we're really able to make sure that the quality is good and every single one gets checked and we will not send it unless it really passes our- Yeah, I can our, tell. Like the, yeah. the quality is really good. 
really really yeah. good it's not like anything you would get from amazon or no nothing like that and even <laughs> if you buy it from a store they claim to like you know postpartum help you shrink the tummy it just it just it doesn't have all the components that no. uh, you guys have Exactly. And, and I think another big key element, which you kind of touched on already, is that because our wrap, you put it on from the bottom up, it mm -hmm. really does help to make sure that you don't get that downward pressure, That's which right. is especially important if someone's got like any kind of prolapse um, or just in general, just the not, it doesn't feel nice to get pressure going downward. Yeah. When you start leaking. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The pelvic the pelvic floor is so important, especially so fragile in the beginning of mm -hmm. in the beginning of the postpartum. And yeah. then, so, uh, how long would you recommend um, your clients to wear the wrap? Yeah, so we generally say um, wear it for the first eight weeks postpartum. In the beginning, you start wearing it almost twenty four seven if you're able to, if that feels good yes. for you. Good. We always want to remind people to listen to your body. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Right, your body is so smart, and if it's giving you these signals that I, you know, <laughs> you shouldn't be wearing it this long, then don't. Like make adjustments and then try again another day. Um, but um, in the beginning, you wear it all the time and then you start with a restorative program um so either your program or the or the core conference program that comes with the wraps and you just slowly um rebuild that strength and as your strength in your pelvic floor and your core is growing then you can slowly decrease the amount of time that you're wearing the wrap um people always ask like oh i'm past eight weeks can i still mm -hmm. use it um so we have a kind of like few different answers for that um as you said you can you you still use it sometimes when you're doing mm -hmm. your own exercises um yes. and so you know you're you're making a good choice with that in regards to you're knowing that you're using it for support you're not using it every day you're not relying on it too much on your everyday life it's really there for a, a reason right um, but otherwise, if it's past eight weeks, it's great to use when you are, let's say, first starting back into activity. So if you're wanting to rebuild that strength first, it's great to start with the start wearing the wrap again to support your muscles so that you don't injure yourself. And then as you build that strength, then you can start decreasing again, just like in the first eight weeks. Um, or you can wear it or if it's even past that. Um, like how you use it in exercise mm -hmm. if you just need a little bit more extra support um but the key is we don't want you to become reliant on it because mm -hmm. you need to grow your muscles right sure. so don't just wear the wrap and not do any exercises you yeah. have to be able to do both so that you're recovering properly and then other times if you're seeing a pelvic floor physiotherapist postpartum yeah, this might also be included in your postpartum recovery plan. So that's another time that you might use it mm -hmm. is if you're if your uh, physio says that you should be using it as you go through your rehab. Yeah. And in my tummy worry coaching program, I, I still tell clients even at one year or so two years postpartum, like you say, in addition to what mm -hmm. you say, it's like they have never really worked on their core before and they yes. are starting to work out. And it happens that they do have a more moderate to even more severe diastasis recti. And regardless of how many years postpartum, mm -hmm. this wrap will still benefit them because yeah. that, like you say, it really helps them to keep the core tighter. They, they, they know what the they're feeling engaged. when they're exercising. Mm -hmm. in, in, uh, um, yeah, instead of like everything just kind of like that, <laughs> you know wobbling yeah. out and yeah. so this will really help them to feel that they are doing yeah. the exercises and yes. and and just give them give them that uh um the push or like that uh, momentum in the beginning to help yes. them to get started great on point. healing definitely great point good good um <clears throat> okay so we talk about those i think is did we miss anything else that we wanted to touch on <laughs> Um, I think we were going to kind of talk, explain how it might feel. Um, so, you know, oftentimes when people imagine wearing a postpartum wrap, they kind of imagine being suffocated. But, but mm. with our wrap, it's really not like that. It, it feels like someone is gently hugging you around your abdomen. Yeah. You do not want to wear anything that is too tight or too rigid. OK, it needs to be able to um, move with your body. So it needs to have flexibility so that you feel comfortable um, and it needs to be able to um, 
feel gentle, not like it shouldn't be uncomfortable. If it feels uncomfortable, um, then there's something else going on because it definitely should not feel uncomfortable. It should feel supportive and um, and yeah, just really comfortable. You should be feeling better when you're wearing it as opposed yeah. to worse, That's which right. is how what I've heard from other people who have tried other brands. That's how they felt when they put on other brands where they felt worse wearing it. And that should not be the case with, with ours at all. You should feel better. Yeah, yeah no, I 100% agree. Your body, your, our body just so smart. We know yeah. whether it is good for us or bad for us. Yeah, yes. of course, if there's pain, if you're feeling uncomfortable, discomfort, if there's just something bothering you, something just not right, then, then you know, your body knows better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Good, good. Well, I'm so happy that we had this conversation. So now, where can people find this belly wrap? Sure. So simplest is just on our website, belliesinc.com. Um, you can buy the new bellies band there. You can buy the ab wrap. You can get the full system. Um, we do also have a special where you can get both the belly band and the ab wrap together in a package price. That's really the best um, savings that you're going to get. Um, and code. we also have, uh, exactly, you can share your code. Um, we also have um, other products that people don't even think about that we carry. So we mm -hmm. have our Care for Down There kit. So our Care for Down There kit includes uh, perennial healing herbs that was uh, formulated by a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. So he put together these herbs to help with your perineum healing. So if you have any kind of Tearing. Um, these herbs are going to help all those tissues repair properly. Um, and it comes with an upside down peri bottle as well as some really comfortable um, disposable boxers. Um, so kind of like the ones that they have in the hospital, except way more comfortable with a larger um, bottom panel so you can actually put your pads in and they won't run around and yeah. um, and they're black so you're not gonna see blood all over them which I think they should always be black who made them white in the hospital <laughs> um, so, so that's our care for down there kit and then we also have our bombs so we have three different bombs also all formulated by that same doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. We have one for nipple so if you're breastfeeding mm -hmm. it's great for nipples um, to help it like stay moisturized so that it doesn't crack, it doesn't cause any damage. Um, we have one for belly. So this is for your pregnancy as you're growing. And then we have one for postpartum, which is our ab bomb. And so often oh, people wow. will use one thing for pregnancy and postpartum. But our bodies are doing very different things, right? In pregnancy, our skin is growing and stretching. So we need yeah. something to help with the grow and stretch. And in mm -hmm. postpartum, our skin is repairing. So we need something formulated specifically for repairing. <laughs> True. So yeah. that's why we have two different ones. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are so those are sort of all the extra add-ons that you can get too. So you're really fully taken care of in your in your pregnancy and postpartum. Yeah. I wish I knew about the peri bottle or whatever yeah. the bottom down there cream. Exactly. It would be so nice if I had it. I had a second degree tear. Oh yeah. With my first and oh yeah. my god, you know I don't know if anybody if you had vaginal birth or not, but like the stitching part as they are stitching down there. Oh my god, yes. it's not fun. To me, it felt like worse <laughs> than um than my first I had a little bit of a tear but my second I also had a more significant tear because she was born with her face or with her hand right here superman oh. style oh. and so it makes the stretch Head have bigger. to be bigger because oh. plus she was a big baby she was nine six um oh. so there was an extra bit of there but then my third baby who was my biggest baby 10 five no tearing but he was born in the water at home so I think the water really helps the tissue stretch better maybe and then your body knows like okay this is yeah. my third time now i better yeah. open up a bit more <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool. but i mean even if you only have minor tearing your tissue needs to repair right so having yeah. good herbs that are yeah. actually going to yeah. help with that is important that's good that's good to know um yeah so for anybody who is interested i will link all the links down in the show notes um or the notes descriptions down here below i do have a code tummy warrior for 10 percent off of your total order yep. um but yeah thank you so much samantha for coming thank here thank you so talk much about for Bally's having me it was so nice to finally talk to you after knowing you online for so many years now <laughs> <laughs> yes me too i know we talk back and forth a lot but we never really had a good conversations <laughs> no. like this yeah. so that's that's really good. Yeah. Thank you awesome. so much Thank for you so inviting much. me. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Cool. Okay. I was okay. I would edit out here, but oh yeah, that was great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that was, that was good. good. I think we covered mm -hmm. everything.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Anything okay. else you want to say? Anything? No, I, I guess so you good. need to get back to your baby. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay.